Good day. Welcome. This is your daily bed with a Lady V. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we continue to talk about prayer, we know that the aim of prayer is communication with God. In prayer, we praise God for His goodness, His grace, His mercies. We praise Him because He is the sovereign God. He is holy. He is righteous. He is just. He is true. He is loving. He is for giving and he also is a giver he gave his only begotten son we thank him for the blessings in the past the blessings we have been receiving presently and we thank him in hope or in anticipation that he will continue to bless us also we make request or supplication or petition for our needs to be supplies god then meets our needs and he gives us direction he gives us guidance he gives us instructions when we pray if no answer to what we ask is a forthcoming then the prayer is in vain we must learn to have our prayers answered and the bible lists a number of conditions for answered prayer when God does not listen to us, we must find out what is the reason, what is in our lives that is preventing God from answering our prayer. God delights in answering prayers. So the question is, why are they not answered? When it comes to prayer, we can enter the outlet of God's power. This is done through Jesus Christ. We can pray and our prayers become so powerful simply because we are agreeing with what Jesus does for us at Calvary and what he says in his word. We can ask in accordance with his will we have seen or read or heard about mountain moving prayers st matthew chapter 17 and verse 20. prayers that we pray can reach around the world right now so we can be living locally praying lo praying in our local spot but our prayers are reaching out globally i remember when church of god gives us 100 20 100 40 sets of different people to pray for when we do this we are praying for the needs of people globally. 
So prayers of the saints can be anywhere, not limited by miles, not limited by distance. We can pray for the will of God to be done in somebody's life in Africa, in Israel, or any place in the world. And God says, in fact, in the scriptures, that we should pray for every man, mankind meaning men and women, everywhere. He also delights in answering prayers. So the question again, why is our prayers not answered? And we can look at some of the reasons as the scripture gives us to them. Why our prayers are not answered, we have hindrances or blockage. So for the purpose of this lesson, we will call them hindrances to prayer. And the hindrances are caused always by man, not by God. And some of the reasons we can look at, they are not exhaustive, just limited. But then we can look at our lives and understand from it what is it that is blocking our prayers. So the endurance to prayer, we know that if we are disobedient children of God, we acknowledge him as father, even in the multiple, and the relationship that is dear between a father and a child. If we are not obediently following what he says, doing what he says, then we are walking in disobedience. And disobedience is an hindrance to answered prayer. Sin in our lives is a, an hindrance to answered prayer. Psalm 66 and 18 tells us that if we cherish this sin in our hearts so much and do not want to give it up, do not want to confess it, do not want to renounce it and turn away and walk away from it, walk in the other direction of it, then it will end our prayer. When we pray, if we lack confidence in prayer, it will end our prayer also. If we pray, as James says, and prayer miss, it hinders our prayer. We lack faith, not believing that what we are asking for, we will receive, then it hinders our prayer. Not praying in Jesus' name is another reason why our prayers are hindered. If we do not ask, how can we receive? If we are not praying according to the will of God, then our prayers also will be hindered. When we pray with wrong motive, our prayers will be answered. When we have a unforgiving spirit, our prayers will also be hindered. When we lack praise, when we lack thanksgiving, when we lack love, our prayers will be hindered. When we fail to resist the temptation of Satan, it does hinder our prayers also. If we pray to other gods or we have idols in our lives, this also hinders prayer. Bible also tells us we shouldn't just come repeating ourselves to make our prayers long. It hinders prayer also. When we lack time and we just run or bump into him, no praise, no adoration, no acknowledgement of his goodness, no thanksgiving to God, it hinders our prayer also. 
when our family relationships are not right fuss and confusion and strife our prayers become hindered when we also believe that God is obligated to us and therefore we approach him with no respect with uh, and not just honoring him but expecting that when I come to God I just ask and I will receive because prayer is about asking and receiving these and many more things in our lives will hinder our prayers mainly we say when we fail to confess our sins and to make things right with God and with man it is a major cause of unanswered prayer what does the scripture tells us it says if my people we belong to God who are called by my name would humble themselves we submit to God and pray seek his face stay in his presence turn from our wicked ways he says then will I hear from heaven I will forgive your sins and I will bring healing and uh, restoration so as we take a review and look at our prayer lives let us see or ask the Holy Spirit to help us to identify the things that are hindering our prayers from them being answered God bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please share and also please make your comments and do visit my youtube channel daily med with